Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. Today our video is focused on a business personality who is the owner of Dallas Mavericks professional basketball team of the National Basketball Association and the co-owner of 2929 Entertainment. He is also one of the main shark investors on the ABC reality television series Shark Tank. I'm sure you would have guessed it by now. Well, he is none other than the American billionaire entrepreneur, television personality and media proprietor Mark Cuban. His net worth is estimated at $4.3 billion according to Forbes and he was ranked 177 on the 2020 Forbes 400 list. Cuban was born on March 31, 1958 in Pennsylvania, USA. Cuban first ventured into business at the age of 12. He sold garbage bags to pay for a pair of expensive basketball shoes. Cuban studied at Indiana University in Bloomington where he graduated from the Kelly School of Business in 1981 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Management. After graduating, Cuban returned to Pittsburgh and took a job with Mellon Bank. He immersed himself in the studies of machines and networking. In 1982, Cuban moved to Dallas, Texas, where he took up work as a salesperson for your business software, one of the earliest PC software retailers in Dallas. He was fired less than a year later after meeting with a client to produce new business instead of opening the store. Cuban started his own company, Microsolutions, with help of his previous customers from your business software. Microsolutions was initially a system integrator and software reseller. The company was an early proponent of technologies such as Carbon Copy, Lotus Notes, and CompuServe. The company grew to more than $30 million in revenue, and in 1990, Cuban sold Microsolution to CompuServe, then a subsidiary of HR Block, for $6 million. He made approximately $2 million after taxes on the deal. In 1995, Cuban and fellow Indiana University alumnus Todd Wagner joined Audionet. With a single server and an ISDN line, Audionet became Broadcast.com in 1998. In 1999, Broadcast.com helped launch the first live stream Victoria's Secret fashion show. That year, during the dot-com boom, Broadcast.com was acquired by Yahoo for $5.7 billion. Cuban continues to work with Wagner in other ventures like 2929 Entertainment, which provides vertically integrated production and distribution of films and video. Cuban has been a shark investor on the ABC reality program Shark Tank since season 2 in 2011. As of May 2015, he has invested a total of $19.9 million in 85 deals across 111 Shark Tank episodes. As of 2022, Cuban is the richest of all sharks to appear on the show. On January 4, 2000, Cuban purchased a majority stake in the NBA's Dallas Mavericks for $285 million from H. Ross Perot. In September 2002, Cuban married Tiffany Stefford and together they have two daughters. With that as an introduction to Mark Cuban, we will now try and explore some of the business strategies that made him a billionaire. Strategy number one, plan to stay for long term. After graduation, Mark tried several businesses but didn't become truly successful until his 30s. His first business idea to sell powdered milk didn't work out. But he didn't let that stop him in the long run. The majority of us aren't willing to make such a commitment to success because we'd rather be successful earlier than our 30s. What we learn from Mark is that you've got to be committed and you must stick to it no matter how hard it seems. Strategy number two, manage a good team. Cuban owns 37 businesses and some among them are the Dallas Mavericks and Landmark Theatres, Magnolia Pictures, and HDTV cable network AXS TV. He advocates that no one has the personal bandwidth to do everything. You have to find more personnel to complement you. To make the company stronger, you need people who are aligned to the goals that are required to be achieved. So a strong team comes in handy here. Strategy number three, be nice. 
it's no surprise to watch Mark Cuban often getting stopped on the street for selfies and to hear business pitches. Cuban is known to beg for his fans, stopping to sign, listen or smile. Cuban applies this to businesses. He said it may seem obvious but nice is necessary. Being linked goes a long way and Mark Cuban is likable. Strategy number 4. Don't be a slave to the bank. Mark is passionate about staying debt free, especially when it comes to beginning a business. He says 99% of today's companies can be started without capital. If you take a loan, you are no longer the boss and your customers are no longer the bosses. Your banker is the boss. And if you hit any adversity as every startup does, the priority become taking care of your banker. Strategy number 5. Make the job fun for employees. If you want to keep your company employees happy, reward them for a job well done. Look for ways you can help them to achieve their personal goals while adding to the value of the company. You need to keep your employees happy if you are going to continue the enjoy success regularly. So this was the video we had curated on Mark Cuban and his adopted business strategies. I hope all of you have enjoyed the video. We will be back with another similar video on a different and popular business personality very soon. Bye bye. Thank you.